Welcome drunks. Today we're going to talk about the science behind when you get blackout drunk. What specifically happens to your brain? I'm going to admit it, I've never been blackout drunk. I have been drunk, but I did remember every questionable activity I committed. For that we have our director, Amir Nakui. What's Hello up? Amir. Hello. Tell me about your drunken adventures. New Year's, two, maybe two years ago, I got really drunk, probably definitely blackout, but like I remember <laughs> laying on a couch in the middle of this party and I started throwing up all over myself. And I, I can just like, I have vague memories. And then from there I can remember going into the taxi that my friends and I all got and s me slipping on the driveway because it was really icy, it was during New Year's. And like I fell on my ass and I remember the pain of falling on my ass. <laughs> But then after that, I don't remember like the taxi ride or anything, and I remember getting to my friend's apartment and like laying down on the couch. So you remember well, parts of this? Yeah, parts Did, of it. Were you reminded when people described the events to you, or were you more, you just got it yeah, time like by time? Yeah, if people described them to me, like I would remember. Well, there are actually two kinds of blackouts. One is called en bloc which means you don't remember anything for a long amount of time, i.e. the whole night. And there's also fragmentary, or a brownout. That's what you had. And it wasn't that mess you made on your friend's couch. I think, I think we want a, a real blackout story. So we have Tim Frisch from Philly. Ah. We were at uh, a bar called The Saloon, and they have this drink called The Monkey Boy, which is basically a pitcher of jungle juice, alcohol, mixture, fruity kind of thing. So you just dip the pitcher into the big plastic No, they hand you a juice? pitcher then and you drink it. And everyone had two pitchers and they were drinking out of straws out of their pitchers. That's really bad for It's you. terrible. But the game was that we were all playing, I didn't know we were playing this game, was when Tim is drinking out of one pitcher, fill up his other pitcher with your pitcher. So my pitchers never got any lower. I just kept drinking them all night and they kept magically refilling themselves and I was too drunk to notice. Uh, so at one point I was gone, just completely blackout. But the rest of the story that's been told to me is that I got kicked out of the bar for falling down and spilling my drinks everywhere. <laughs> I went oh, outside Tim. and threw up on someone's car. <laughs> uh, the assistant director walked me home. Uh, but when uh, a few more members of the crew that were staying at my place afterwards uh, came back to my apartment, they found me just kind of like sitting in the elevator riding it up and down because I didn't know what floor to get off on. <laughs> oh, Tim. I don't remember any of this. I don't remember any of this. And lastly, we have Mark Register, who you may know is the guy who does everything at the Young Turks. He also does things such as drink a lot and not remember what happened. My favorite blackout story is um, my friend's uh, 19th or 20th birthday party at Florida State University. We went to <clears throat> this party, and he just drank a fifth of, like, vodka. This is a big guy. He's about, like... 260, 270. And apparently he drank like another fifth. Um, and so he got a little crazy. He decided that he needed to take off all of his clothes. <laughs> Big guy. Um, and then he sits in a lawn chair and thinks it's a toilet and in, oh, in the no. front lawn. This is the front lawn of the party. And he just kind of goes like this. And he just starts taking the shit in the front lawn, completely <laughs> naked, and it's and it has like the little slits in between the, the lawn chair, so it's just oh, like, God, coming no. down like soft serve ice cream, and then finally, um, he uh, the chair falls and he falls into his own shit, <laughs> and, and then we have to drag him, we have to drag him from the lawn um, into the driveway, um, and then he's like, no, 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 I'm fine. He gets up. And then he falls and he hits his head and he gets like a giant gash on his head and he knocks himself out. And then we take a hose and we literally hose him down from the shit and the blood. <laughs> and <laughs> didn't remember a thing. So, and then we uh, somehow, uh, about four or five of us, hosed him off, dried him down completely naked, then put clothes on him. And he woke up the next day at like, three o'clock uh, p.m. and he didn't remember a damn thing. So that was my favorite blackout drunk story. I'm glad that wasn't you, because I thought you were gonna say, and that man grew up to be Mark Register. Surprise, suckers! <laughs> <laughs> Crazy messed up stories that I never want to experience in my life aside, there is a point to this. There is a reason scientifically why your brain remembers things and doesn't remember things. There are two types of blackouts. One is called en bloc. Mark's friend. That means you don't remember 
anything. There's also fragmentary or brownout, which is where you can remember some things, especially if you're reminded of them. They're both caused by the same thing, and it's a physiological chemical reaction in the brain's hippocampus, which is the region responsible for memory. There is some evidence that some people have genetic predisposition to blackouts, and in the 1940s, it was thought to be a sign that you have a dependence on alcohol, which is not actually the case according to recent studies that say people who socially binge drink are just as likely to have them as people who drink heavily all the time. It all comes down to a spike in blood alcohol. There are receptors in your hippocampus that produce glutamate. This makes the neurons communicate with each other. Alcohol stops this process. Or rather, it makes some of them not work while activating others. This causes the neurons to create steroids, which further ruin your ability to learn and memorize things. In simpler terms, drinking way too much will give you an effect similar to anterograde amnesia, meaning your brain will temporarily lose the ability to create new memories. It doesn't stop you from doing things. You're still going to text your ex. You might even drive or take a big poop on a lawn, but you won't remember doing it. So now that you know what's going on in your brain, when you're blacked out drunk, is it gonna make you any less likely to do it? Probably not. So if you have any messed up stories of drunken debauchery like my friends at TYT have, please let me know in the comments and be sure to like and subscribe.